The components required for the components required for this experiment are not MC board, not MC breakout board, or you can use a breadboard. Capacitive soil moisture sensor, DHT eleven sensor, connecting wires, and connecting cable. Now log into the Blink Dot Cloud website. Then go to Developer Zone, and here click on New Template. Here we can give the template name: Environment Monitoring System. And select the hardware as ESP8266 and connection type as Wi-Fi. Then click on the Run button. Now go to Data Streams. Here click on New Data Stream and select the Virtual Pin. Here select the enter the first variable name as Soil Moisture. And select the pin as V0 and data type as double. And here we can give the maximum value as 500. If you want, we can change the color of this. Now click on the create button. Now again go to new data stream and select virtual pin. And the second variable name we can give as temperature. And the pin number is V1 and data type as double. And select the maximum value as 100. And here we can select the unit as Celsius. And here also click the create button. Now create the final variable. Again go to new data stream and select virtual pin and enter the pin name as humidity. And pin number as V2 and data type as double. Here also the maximum value is 100 and select the unit as percentage. Now click on the create button. Now go to web dashboard. Here we need to drag three gauge widgets. Now go to the settings of the first gauge, and here select the data stream as soil moisture. Here also we can change the color. Now click save button, and now go to the settings of the second gauge, and here select temperature. And click save button, and now go to the third gauge settings, and here we need to select humidity. And click on the save button. Now we can save the template. Now go to devices and here click on new device. Here we can select the from template. Here we can see the template which we created, environment monitoring system. And now click on the create button. Now we got the template ID, template name, and authentication token. Now copy this and paste in our program. So this is our program. So paste the values and also we need to enter the Wi-Fi username and Wi-Fi password. Now Go to this drop down and select the port. And here we need to select the board. I am using Node MC 1.0, so select the same model. And now click on the OK button. Now click this arrow button and upload the program to the Node MC board. Now the program is successfully uploaded to the Node MC board. Now we can set up the Blink mobile dashboard. For that, download the Blink IoT application from the Play Store. Now once you open the application, you can see the template which we created in the Blink web dashboard. Now click on the template. Now click on the settings icon. From the bottom, we need to click the plus button. And here also we need to add three gauge widgets. Now click on the first gauge, and here we need to select the data stream as soil moisture. So if you want to give the title, go to design. Here we can enter the gauge title. Here also we can give soil moisture.
here also we can change the color if we needed now go back now click on the second gauge and here select the data stream as temperature go to design and here give the title as temperature now go back now select the third gauge and here we need to select the uh, data, uh, data stream as humidity and here also go to design and enter the title as humidity now go back and again click the back button now the setup is completed and now we can check the output 